using opacity and layers and hue chroma. Go to file, new, then choose A4, OK. Drag a picture from your desktop or somewhere where you've kept it onto your page that you're working on. Convert. Stretch it by pressing Shift S and then Enter. I'm now going to experiment with Hue Chroma on the layer to create exaggerated colours because I'd like it quite dramatic and not, not necessarily very realistic. You can play around with the lightness or the amount of hue or chroma with the sliders and press OK when you're happy with the effect. I think I'm going to try a couple of um, filters on on the face but if you don't like something you can just press delete or um, edit undo some of the filters you've got different um, view boxes this one if you press if you press on the preview square in the right hand corner it shows where what you're seeing and what the part of the picture okay but I don't think I want to use that one I'm using a uh, posterize now because I think I I want a simpler effect. I'm now going to duplicate the layer and move the I moved the opacity slider to make one of the layers more translucent and now moving it around. So you want to experiment with your semi-translucent layer And see where you'd like to place it so you might need to move it around you can even uh, mirror image it or flip it if you use the tools bar and choose flip or shift F for flip I'd like one of the layers to be a slightly different color so I'm now using hue saturation in the color section to change it so that it contrasts a little bit with the um, other layer So I'm making another copy of the top layer and I'm going to use um, threshold so to create a nice extreme black and white effect with that. You may want to see what that looks like when you merge um, some of the layers together with some of the modes in the layers palette. Or you could use um, the fuzzy select tool or select by color to select all of the one color in that layer and then control X to delete it. I think I'm going to make this um, layer larger so that um, it, it acts like a frame and it contains all the other smaller faces within it. So it's quite good to have uh, groups of three things and also th images that are different scales. To save your image you press um, file export as, save it by an appropriate uh, title and then find the JPEG option at the bottom of the page and press export export again again you can also add uh, drawings on top of your um, phot photography designs uh, so um, shift R is rotate is a shortcut for rotate and I'm going to see what it looks like with um, some of the different effects in the mode palette that's quite dramatic subtract let's try multiple it's quite dark merge merge sometimes works quite well but that's not doing anything really what happens if I use the opacity slider I'm just seeing okay that's quite subtle maybe a bit too subtle 
let's just put the slider back up and now I'm going to go to is that hue saturation I can't see it's quite small on the screen that's quite nice leave that 